Prograde dropped dreams, the hype was immense. Procreate was revolutionary in the iPad illustration field. Naturally, people had high hopes for its animation counterpart. But unlike Procreate's seeming dominance over the illustration realm, Dreams isn't alone in the animation one. Toon Squid has its territory. So, animators might be confused about which to get. Let's compare both and try to figure out which is best. Let's get to the juicy stuff. The interface. Dreams is pretty similar in interface to its sister software, Procreate. The first thing that pops up when you open the app are your projects, with a plus sign in the right corner to start a new project. Once you set up your project template, it will open up the window where the animation actually happens. The interface is compact and slick, fitting the needs of an iPad's limited screen. It's pretty much our old good buddy Procreate, just with a timeline at the bottom. This can be super comfortable and familiar if you're coming from Procreate and the animation field as a whole, as this is how most animation software are built. You also have the option to bring down the timeline and make it vanish. It will be replaced by small windows for each frame you had. This is called flipbook mode. The interface is black with a minimalistic approach and its design. ToonSquid is very similar to Dreams, or is it the other way around? Since ToonSquid came out before Dreams. Anyways, it opens up the same. You have your projects and a plus sign to create a new one. The editor opens up and you have the timeline at the bottom. The main differences are that the drawing tools on ToonSquid are on the left, with the brush sliders at the top, and the color, layers, and undo and redo options are on the right. Playback and onion skin options are at the bottom. The design of the interface is black with white lettering and detail. It's slick and compact just like Dreams. So for this section, both software are pretty similar. Timeline Procreate's timeline is any regular timeline with a bit more minimalism to it. Your frames stack horizontally in chronological order. Right above it is the timestamps for the animation, which upon clicking, you can pop up a widget called the stage options, where you can tinker with the onion skin options and background color. On the right, you have the toolbar, where you have the playback triangle on the left, alongside other buttons for other purposes. Those be in performance mode, edit mode, drawing mode, and the plus button to add tracks, files, and photos. On the left again, the little rectangles icon with the name of your project next to it takes you back to the project's menu, or as Dreams calls it, the theater. Toon Squid's timeline is a bit different. You have your layers on the far left, stacking vertically, like any layer system, with the corresponding frames for those layers facing them directly. The frames, on the other hand, stack horizontally, like most animation timelines. Just under the layers is a plus button that lets you add a layer, a group, a transform layer, or camera options. At the top of the timeline itself are different playback buttons, an onion icon to activate onion skin mode, the curved arrows icon next to the onion icon is the loop button that lets you play the animation on a loop, add drawing is for adding frames, and extend drawing is to extend a frame's duration. Magnet icon helps define how you edit your frames in relation to other frames. When it's on, you can edit your frame's duration freely, and other neighboring frames will react accordingly. When it is not on, your editing of the frame's duration is constrained by what's around it. Next to the magnet are transform layer options and keyframe activation options. Drawing and animation tools. Procreate has been known for its amazing brushes. You'll be happy to know that those same ones are also available in Dreams. From sketching to inking, painting, and calligraphy brushes, they're all there. You can also easily drag the brushes you have in Procreate to Dreams by having the app side by side and just dragging the brushes from one app to the other. There are also the usual and basic smudge, layers, eraser, and color tools. However, in Dreams, you cannot use the usual lasso tool and freely transform parts of your drawings. In order to make modifications, you have to exit drawing mode and they'll be constricted to what you have on that specific frame. All of it is selected and needs to be modified together. Dreams has keyframe options, text options, onion skin mode, filters, and effects such as gush and blur and HSB, and you have the ability to animate them. There are also camera movement options and the most impressive, to me at least, is performance mode. Basically, performance mode lets you play with a given frame, however you like. 
like transforming and scaling it as you like and records your movements, turning them into an animation in itself. When it comes to importing image sequences, Dreams does not import them in order, which is quite a nuisance as you would have to manually reorder them. As for exporting, you can export the files in video format or turn all your frames into images or export the project as a whole. As for ToonSquid, we also have plenty of tools. ToonSquid has a plethora of brushes with the option to import and create your own with plenty of brush editing options. Some of the more interesting brushes are the vector and pixel brushes. Much like Procreate, we have the basics with smudge, fill, color picker, and text. There's also an onion skin mode, keyframes with many property options such as position, rotation, scale, and opacity, and which are subject to change according to the selected object. The keyframes can be edited individually, and you can introduce Bezier handles to them, creating a curved motion. Another really interesting option is the transform layer, which has what is called transform hierarchy, which basically allows you to link elements together, such as the different body parts of a character, which if used in tandem with keyframes, can make for a smooth character animation experience. When it comes to exporting, Toon Squid has many options. You can export your animations as MP4, RMOV videos, GIFs, images, image sequences, or even as a project with all of its data intact. It's also interesting to note that Toon Squid imports your image sequences in order, unlike Dreams. Performance Users have reported that both apps can often run into crashes. However, Procreate tends to be more responsive and faster than ToonSquid, which can be slower the bigger the files are. For this section, it is also good to look at the background of each of the software. Procreate Dreams is developed by a fully established team called Savage Interactive with 46 people behind it. They have the development and maintenance of Procreate behind them. This may mean that the team's knowledge may be limited when it comes to animation since they specialize in illustration, but it also means quicker bug resolving and updates, which can also explain why Procreate is reported to be faster than Toon Squid. Toon Squid, on the other hand, is only developed by a single person, Kaywen Donyegard. I hope I didn't butcher that. Kaywen is a software developer, and some of his other projects are Quicksort, a brain stimulation exercise game, and Evolution, learning creatures an app where you can create joints, bones, and muscles to build creatures. Kaywan says, quote, I am working on it, Toon Squid, in my spare time in addition to a full-time job and other projects, so I can neither give a time estimate for when the exact update will be ready, nor whether and when any specific feature will be added, end quote. This means that Toon Squid might be slower to respond to bugs or provide updates. Price Procreate Dreams costs 20 US dollars, while Toon Squid costs 10 US dollars. Not much to say there except if you are looking for affordable options, Toon Squid easily wins this. But it's also important to note that Dreams has a dedicated team behind it, while Toon Squid only has one person. So, which one to get? The general consensus from users is that Toon Squid has a lot to offer. It's been out for way longer than Procreate Dreams and is tool and feature rich, while Dreams seems to be lacking and feel barren compared to Toon Squid. Users also find Dreams to be less intuitive than Toon Squid, and I think this is because Procreate's design philosophy is minimalistic. They tend to hide a lot of their features and compact them away from view since their product is mainly for iPad, and this minimalistic approach helps a user not feel their drawings spaces crowded, while Toon Squid exposes their tools so clearly, which might be helpful to animators who are used to traditional animation software interfaces. This can be a plus for you if you're coming from using Procreate and want to explore animation. In the same fashion, Procreate allows you to explore illustration. Users also tend to note that Dream seems to have been released earlier than it should have, and might need a bit more time to get to where Toon Squid is. And they're working on it as they are actively listening to users and adding features with time. If your background is in animation, we suggest you get Toon Squid, as it is the more tools and feature rich of the two for a lower price. And keep an eye on Dreams as it evolves with time. If it starts getting more tools and features, maybe you can consider getting it. But who knows, maybe at that time, Toon Squid would be way ahead. If your background is illustration and specifically with Procreate, but want to dabble in animation, Procreate might make more sense to you.
And that was that for our video. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And with that said, we hope to see you in the next one.